Hi there, I'm Violet Van Nies and this is Grow Your Movement Freedom. Welcome. So today another video on how to help yourself learn faster, improve faster. So learn a new skill or come back to good function or release tightness or whatever it is that you'd like to learn, something you'd like to shift in your movement or be able to do better or learn something new, this will help you out. And today we're looking at the power of imagining. The power of imagining with all your senses to help you learn something new, potentially even faster than you can learn it by doing it. And this is something actually that Moshe Feldenkrais uh, was already using in his classes when he was doing them in the you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, he was working with imagination quite often as a way to refine a movement or to allow your system to take it in more quickly than by actually doing it. But it's being used more and more in elite athletes. So there's an article I'm going to give you a link to that's called Olympians Use Imagery as Mental Training. And it gives examples of a bunch of Olympic athletes, bob sledders, freestyle skiers that do the flips and the jumps, um, bob, um, luge, uh, luge athletes, lots of different kinds of athletes who use imagery, imagining with all your senses to be able to create better function and to practice and to finesse what they're learning. And here's the power of the imaging. What happens is that when our body does stuff, we have a little map in our brain. There's a little map back there, it's sort of your, your map of what you do and how you do it. And it stores a memory in your own experience of what something feels like and how it works. And doing it helps create that memory. And what they found is that imagining it also helps to create that memory in your own system. So you are learning. Your brain is taking it in as if you're doing it when you're doing the mental and the it's actual, actually all senses imagining all together. And it's most powerful when you're using all your different senses. So it's not just visualization, you're not just seeing it, but you're feeling it, you're feeling your muscles, and you'll, you'll notice your muscles might do the smallest little things while you're doing it, or you'll see people, see people kind of doing this. Um, and it works for Olympic athletes. It also, this is magic, works when you're in a cast, for example, or when you're not able to do something because it's not comfortable. You can still learn about that movement by imagining it and having the smallest little idea of the movement happening within your muscles, within your senses, within your whole kinesthetic feeling of yourself, within your whole nervous system experience of what this is. Because your nervous system is pretty good at imagining and creating the experience when you have it really clearly sensed in all your different senses. So here's the thing. When you're actually doing something, you've got all the bumps and warts of learning to do it and your old habits of everything that's in there that you're trying to sort out and clean out and finesse and do this and do that. When you're imagining, you can smooth out your movement and feel yourself doing it really nicely without having to do all that other stuff. You can actually refine your movement through your imagining of it so that when you go and do it, it already feels different. Your nervous system's already got different experiences through the imagining that can inform what you actually end up doing. So an example for me, when I'm walking now, I've had foot surgery, now I've got an idea in my foot here about how I'd like to work. If I get a real sense of up, and a real sense of, yeah, the imaging and the feeling of, and the whole sensation of feeling a lift of up. And I imagine what my foot feels like when I have that kind of lightness in my body, rather than feeling, right? I'm imagining the feeling of up as I step. And then when I go for a walk, when I'm out there doing stuff, I can bring in that feeling of up and it's already primed. It's like my body's ready for it. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. That feels neat. And then I can play with that. So it's a way of introducing something quickly into your body, into your whole experience, into your whole nervous system, so that you can learn from that and then open up um, the finesse 
the experience, the options, you can play with it. And you can do this in meetings, you can do this while you're standing in the bank lineup, you can do this stuff wherever you like, so that you can actually prime your nervous system for a task or something you like to do, like paddleboarding, in other situations. You can be doing it and helping yourself learn. I like that part. Alrighty, if you have any questions, let me know. Or if you'd like more information, my website info is right below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear how you're doing with this. Happy exploring, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.